higher this is going to be an experiment with some of the resin I've got left over bought these glitter snowflakes last year year before from George Home which is Asda so I'm going to place these in the middle I don't think it matters which way they go up I think they're the same either way Oops, that one's got two I don't want two, I only want one okay Okay, so to make sure they're in the middle and not bent up, Sandra. It's bent up. Oh well, never mind. Won't hurt. Okay. So then I'm going to save some of this. I don't know if this is going to work because I might not, I might not have enough resin. I might have to mix up some more resin. And put that on them. I don't think I'm going to have enough. I really want it covered. There's definitely something wrong with my table. I keep on using my leveller to level it out and it says it's level and yet for some reason Everything seems to go sideways. Just trying to get as much as I can out of that. And then make sure it's all the way to the edges. not going to work. I don't think it's going to work. Not enough resin. And then push them down to get the air out. Hopefully. Right, I'm going to make just a fraction more resin. I shall be back in a minute. Back in a minute. Right, sorry for let me get you into position properly again. Sorry, had to use my phone for a phone call. Okay. I've made up some more. As always, I've made up too much. So I'll have to find somewhere to put these so I can do another project. Um, so I'm just going to push this and put this in here. Cover this right up. That's the only problem with these sort of things is the ends stick up and you've got to make sure they're underneath. Otherwise you're going to have a bit sticking out and it won't work very well I might not have to make another project these might be enough it's going to be quite thick I think but never mind better to be thick than uh, too thin isn't it let's get rid of that one now if I remember rightly 
These little bloody things, they float. I made my daughter some silver ones last year. And I think I had to keep pushing them down. Okay, there's a little bit left there. So let me stick. Yeah, they're floating. So you've got to push them down so they stop floating. Oh, excuse my belly, if you heard that. It does look nice if they do float, but at the same time, One's a bit full. They're all a bit full. <laughs> it's because it's all coming this way again. Oh. See, this is my little um oh I can't even think what it's called now. Leveler. And it's level. And we go in between this way. And it's level. But I don't understand why everything keeps coming this way. I don't know. That is annoying. So I'm going to have to take a bit out of them all. Otherwise, I'm not going to get, oops, without putting it all over the table. Oh, my God. <laughs> I've got my fingers in something else that's next to me. <laughs> oh, dear. I am definitely going to change my channel name. Sandra the Muck Up. <laughs> Right. Oh, I cannot believe I've done that. It doesn't matter. It hasn't spoiled that one, thank God. Right. That one, though. Look at it. Fresh paper, that is. Fresh paper put down today. One of these days, I'm going to have a go at doing the um, window film things. I've got some, just haven't got round it. <laughs> I keep thinking of other things I'm doing. I'm like, oh, I've got to do this. Oh, I'm going to do that. And then I sit there and go, oh, damn, I meant to do this and I meant to do that. Right. Is that a quick pop round? Okay, so in this, yeah, I'm going to put some Carlson Craft. That's not Carlson Craft, that's Pinata. <laughs> Cast and craft. <laughs> I'm going to give that a mix round. Oh, this is hot. Okay. I wanted some gold in it. It is getting very hot. Right, you 
got to remember 10% for the... Ten percent, no more than ten percent. Otherwise, it mucks up the balance or something. Okay, so I want that. I want to quickly get myself. Piping bag. I don't know if this is going to work at all. I'm going to stick this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Into my piping bag. I can't put it anywhere for you to see. I've got no room. pretty quick because a lot of the time it like all of a sudden like goes rock hard when I very first started doing resin I didn't know anything about it <laughs> and I decided I was gonna make something I can't remember what I was making and um, I got my mixing jug build it up put some colour in it and the next thing I knew <laughs> I had to pour it out wouldn't move <laughs> it was solid <laughs> it was absolutely solid so I've learned over the last couple of years to be very careful with your, your resins right. floating again I'll have to put another coat on it I expect okay now with this oh I've done made the hole too big I've made the hole too big Let's just give it a good old swish round. And then with, I don't know, I'll just do it with this for now. I'm just going to make sure that the blobs aren't too big. Move it around a little bit for the blobs. I don't know if this is going to work. It might look stupid by the time I've finished. Right, I want to go in, in, as I do my flower. Oops, I've moved it. I don't know why, but I always got to do the petals wiggly. That sort of looks a bit stupid, to be quite honest, but... <laughs> this one is uh, lifting, so the others are going to be lifting as well. Come on, down you go. Down you go. Oh, it might not work. It probably won't because it's mine. You know, my stuff don't hardly work. <laughs> St 
started a YouTube channel up and I thought, well, I'll start it up, but I don't get no views. And I'm quite surprised what I've got. Oh, down. That's where I make a right mess. That would do, because otherwise I'm just going to run out of room. There's my swell. I have not got a clue what these are going to look like, because as you can see, the flowers are just constantly lifting. So I might have to put another colour back in on or something. But yeah, there you go. Still got some resin I don't want to do with it. Um, oh my god. I've got that I can put them shoved down somewhere. Oh. There's nowhere to put anything. I've got too much stuff on this little board. I've got about three projects on the go. <laughs> No, one, two, three, four projects on the go. Right. Let's just shove that in there for now. Okay. I'll put that in over there for a minute. And I want to get um Chili, chili pepper. Um, chili pepper. Oh, look at that bloody spread. Yellow. This is a this one is a pigment, not a thingy. Uh, not that one. Leave it as that. Oh, back on. Right, okay. Not very central. Right. A little stick. Okay, so. You can tell that the, the resin is getting hot. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just dragging things around. <laughs> and then let's bring that in. There we go. And I've still got some left. So with this one, I'm just going to stick it in here, which is my go-to fill up. Always have something on hand to put your waste resin in. 
whereas it is too expensive to, uh, to buy and to waste. And I know what I was going to do with that bit of resin and too late now. What is it? Yeah. I think it is. I took my glove off to do this, shouldn't have done. Okay, let's fill up now. Let's fill that one up. That's it. There you go. All done. About a leakage. That might be where I'm slamming them down. <laughs> right, I'm gonna put my little tent over the top and let them cure, and I shall see you soon. Bye. Right, these are all nice and hard, not bendy. So, and these are what I poured today. So this is Vista Turbo, so these come out really quick, dry off really quick. And uh, I've got a feeling it's not going to do a lot. That one looks like it might have moved slightly. Yeah, it did. As always, they all move. Oh, overflow on these as well, look. <laughs> Don't know why, but I have. Anyway, never mind. Oh, I can hear fireworks going off. At least it ain't midnight or something when they all start going bang, bang, bang. Okay. Oh, and there's this one as well. This is the the odd one out that I had just sort of like quickly used the, the last of the resin. This probably is nothing. Let's have a look. <laughs> that's nothing. <laughs> so if that's gone like that, it wouldn't surprise me if these aren't the same. So, yeah. Obviously the gold is too heavy for it. So, they have to stay up that way. That will be the top. Which is a shame. The pigment is basically near enough gone underneath here. So, I, I don't know what I'm going to do because these are up quite raised. I don't know if you can see that. It's quite raised on that one. What's that? Rubbish. But, yeah, they've all gone like it. So, obviously, the gold... It's too heavy, too heavy for it. So, I mean, basically what I'll do, I won't ever chuck these away. When I come to sitting there thinking I want to do some, try something, then I'll just re-layer something on the top, do different colours or something on the top, and just cover it all back up again. But it's a shame, it's got a bit of depth in it. Uh, never mind. Oh, and we've got this little one that I completed, didn't I? Okay, we'll have a look at this one. I forgot to pop the bubbles, look. The bubbles all on the top. Let's see if I can get it out. This started, I think, a couple of days ago when I was doing some resin. Sometimes I put alcohol ink uh, alcohol ink alcohol spray in because it helps to loosen the um mold 
some people say it's fine I have heard people sit there and say that it will actually degrade the molds a bit so I don't know oh I can't get it off now it's just rolling <laughs> oh wow it looks quite pretty actually God, if I can get it out oh love that sound oh look it's a little bit soft still <laughs> Oh look, looks like coffee. Coffee with a gold top. <laughs> well, there you go. That's that little bit all done and dusted. Didn't quite work out how I was thinking, but then as I I think I was saying when I was actually doing it that I didn't think it would turn out right. One because these float to the top. And two, obviously the gold was too heavy. So, never mind. I will use them somehow. Do something with them. Love me little pot. Can't stand that one. <laughs> it's got some really good interesting patterns in it though. I don't know if you can see. It's sort of like, um, you can see some depth in it looks like layers but yeah not happy with it anyway thanks for watching yet another disaster <laughs> and i'll see you again soon Ta-da!